Hey guys, so let me tell you a little bit about my school while Cornell Medicine in Qatar. So I decided to make this video because not many people seem to know about this program and I wanted people to know about this hidden little gem in the Middle East. So in pre-med, I made a blog in Korean which introduced Education City and while Cornell Medicine Qatar which attracted a lot of smart Koreans applying every year and ever since then, students from Korea have been coming here almost every year. I thought it would be more helpful to others if I introduced it on on this platform so that more people can know about it. If you're interested, I'll put the link in the description below. Wild Cornell Medicine Qatar is an international site of Wild Cornell Medicine in New York and it is a six-year integrated medical program. It opened up in 2001 in Education City, Qatar. Education City is a part of Qatar Foundation. Qatar Foundation's aim is to support Qatar on its journey from a carbon economy to a knowledge economy by unlocking human potential. Its initiatives are oriented towards education, science and research, and community development. This program combines two years of pre-med and four years of medical curriculum. During the two years of pre-med curriculum, we take the prerequisite courses such as biology, organic chemistry with lab, biochemistry, general chemistry with lab, math, and English. We don't get to decide which classes to choose because it's a really tight curriculum and we have to finish all the pre-med prerequisites within two years. I remember having high school schedules from eight to three, five days a week. After the two years, you have to take the MCAT, which stands for Medical College Admission Test, in order to proceed with the four years of medical curriculum. So pre-med is quite busy and hectic for two years. When you get through the two years of hard work in pre-med, you're finally in med school. You start med school with a white coat ceremony and get your stethoscopes. The medical curriculum in Wild Cornell Medicine Qatar is the same as the one in New York. We receive the same courses, same lectures, and same tests and some lectures are given from New York as well. In med school, you don't have midterms or finals because you have quizzes weekly or bi-weekly. You start with a course called Essential Principles of Medicine, which includes basic science courses like pharmacology, genetics, biochemistry, etc. You also go into the anatomy lab, which means that you'll be seeing your first patient ever the cadaver. You have weekly quizzes on every Sundays and keep in mind that weekend in Qatar is Friday and Saturday so this means that you'll be studying during the weekend to take the quiz on Sunday and then repeat 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 every week. Nope. I thought pre-med was busy but it's a different playing field. And then you continue with a course called health, illness and disease. This is when you learn all the systems of the body such as cardiovascular, renal, gastrointestinal, pulmonology, endocrine, etc etc. There are weekly or bi-weekly quizzes so the days when you do have bi-weekly quizzes, you're so happy that you can get a weekend off, not be studying for the quiz all weekend. When you're done with these courses, you have about six weeks to study for this test called Step 1. It's an eight hour long exam testing what you've learned in medical school and it is arguably the most important test in medical school. Finally, you don't have any quizzes and you start with clerkships. You apply what you've learned in a real clinical setting. You rotate through different clerkships such as internal medicine, pediatrics, surgery, ob psychiatry, and anesthesia and critical care. This happens for a whole year. Now keep in mind that there's no long breaks like summer breaks or spring breaks in clerkships. And you have one test after every clerkship. When you finish your clerkships, you take step two, which is a nine hour exam testing your clinical knowledge. And then you have sub internships and electives to finally choose what you wanna learn. You usually go to New York Presbyterian Hospital to rotate in a specialty that you're interested in. You have to work hard because it'll hugely affect whether you'll be able to get a residency program after graduation, which basically means getting a job after medical school. After sub-internships and electives, you have about 20 weeks of research time and more elective weeks to decide which courses you want to take. Then you're done! Finally, you get your MD, which is a Doctor of Medicine degree. I think the biggest benefit of going into Well Cornell Medicine Qatar is the fact that you can get world-class medical education and a chance to match into a US residency, even if you're not a US citizen. I hope this helped. Bye bye bye.